<laughs> Welcome, everyone, once again to Suplex's Scores and Save Points. This is the Save Points edition. We're saving some points. We are getting some extra lives. I am Ryan, being joined by, as always, by my uh, older brother, Nathan, who does not have a video. He's down there. Say hi. Hello. Oh. Hey, guys. I'm so hungry, I could eat a badonga dough. Oh, what? <laughs> I don't know. It's and from, it's, it's, from, it's from that Zelda game, man. We have a very special guest, our younger brother, video game extraordinaire. It's Sean. <laughs> Sean. I'm so hungry, I could. What did you say? <laughs> Fuck it. I'm going to eat a Lionel. I could eat a Lionel. I could eat, I could eat a Ganon. All right. Uh, okay. So we brought Sean in because uh, he's a video game fan like me and Nathan. And so we figured he could join us for the video game podcast every week and give his thoughts and feelings on the stories we're going to talk about today. Today we have to apologize to Mario and to uh, Nintendo as a whole. Uh, we've got some Xbox news. We've got some new Zelda game news. We've got some Fortnite news and some bunch of goodies for you guys this evening or morning or whenever you listen to this. We got you covered. So first off, we would like to say uh, we were completely wrong about Mario. Uh, if you listen to last week's podcast, me and Nathan pretty much trashed Nintendo for about 20 minutes. Uh, <laughs> we said that they were not going to be releasing the new Mario stuff this month. And lo and behold, about an hour or two after I uh, dropped the podcast, uh, the news came out that they were releasing Mario 35. <laughs> Right. And you look and like the a, biggest part. And it had a load of stuff in it. Yes, they do. They are dropping a lot uh, with this new Mario 35 anniversary. We've got some new games. We've got some old games. We've got some remasters. we got some uh, some fun stuff. Um, yeah, let's jump into it. All right. So one of the big things... Um, well, one of the big things for me was... One of the one of the coolest things was they dropped the Super Mario All Stars SNES version on the Switch for free. I've been playing the hell out of Mario Two. It's a fun game and Mario Three. Those two have been why fun. Mario Two? Because it's different and I've never yeah, actually. Well, I don't know. I never got into it much, so I figured I'll beat Mario Two. I've been, I almost have beaten Mario Three already. Yeah. I've only been playing it like two days. So. Um, but did but, you use the warps and pipes and whistles? Uh, I, I used one whistle. Oh, I got stuck. So I, just, I got well, I got stuck. So I used one whistle. Um, they're also dropping. What is it? The remastered version of Sunshine. Uh, Sixty four in Galaxy. Yes. Yep. I do believe. Yep. And uh, from what I could tell, sixty uh, the sixty four version got a little bit of upscaling and graphics, but. It's still not widescreen. It's in four by three, so it's not going to look as good as the other two. That's uh, okay. Mario, Sun Mario Sunshine. I'm not sure how they're going to do because the controls on that game, when you use the flood, uh, the, the triggers were pressure sensitive, and the switches triggers are not. So I don't know how they're going to pull that off. Ah, uh, yeah, it's yeah, interesting. Right. It'll be interesting to see how they switch it all up and uh, figure that out. Um, and then I'm then I'm, I'm curious how they're going to do all the. If, are they just going to get rid of the motion controls in Galaxy, or what are they going to do there? Well, the Switch remotes have, or what are they called, Joy Cons? Those have. Uh, yeah, they have a little bit of motion control. Yeah, that's true. I guess it'd be all right. But and I are you sure in the handheld mode? You probably just shake the whole thing, man. I don't know. Uh, they'll figure <laughs> it out. I'm sure they'll change some controls. It'll be different than what we're used to. But also yeah, I'm looking, announced. I'm looking forward to picking that up. Also announced is Super Mario 35, which is a Mario um, Battle Royale game. Battle Royale. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you, just basic, you know, you basically just play the original Mario game and, you know, try to outlast 35 other people, which is pretty cool, or 34 other people. Hey. Yeah, and when you uh, hit a turtle shell, you can send it to another player and be cool stuff. Yeah, that sounds like Nifty Beans. Uh, 
Also, they're going to launch Super Mario World 3D plus Bowser's Fury, an enhanced version of the Super Mario 3D World game that was on Wii U. Um, right. That it, one, though, is launching until uh, 2021. Yeah, that's going to be March 31st. Yeah, the rest Ooh. of them... The rest of them are this year, but that one, yeah, that one's not till. And then the weirdest uh, one is Super, uh, Mario Kart Live Home Circuit, which yeah. will be a Mario yeah, Kart that's... game using a real-life physical cart. Yes, you get the choice of Mario or Luigi, two different carts. Both of them cost $100. The game is oh. built into the cart. You control the remote control car with your Switch, and you have a screen where you see all the other characters on your screen, and you're racing them, but your car is going around your living room by itself. But if you're playing with two players, and you hit the other player with a turtle shell, <laughs> the will stop. You so spin you out. Them. Or if you get a mushroom, you go a little faster. It looks insane. Oh. No, you don't spin out. Oh. You don't spin out. You just stop. So when the cards at the bottom would but, have like some sort of gyro, something or other, and you hit them, they just spin really fast. For yeah. Them. But a hundred dollars a piece, man. Woo. That's yeah. Right. I don't know, Nathan. You've paid more for games. <laughs> I mean, they are Mario crazy. Then, uh, oh, and don't, don't. Yeah. Well, don't forget. There's a catch with the Mario with the with the uh, 3D All Stars. It's only out until March, and then they're taking it off the shelf. Ooh. They're taking off the digital, everything. So you only have until March 31st to pick that game up. Fucking Nintendo at it again. So, <laughs> but does that mean you get to keep the game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You keep okay. it as long as you buy it. As long as you, yeah, you got to buy it before the 31st, but I, I mean, I understood a little bit of why you would have it as a limited thing, like, physically, but it, it's really weird that they're limited in digitally, too. That's kind of yeah. weird. Unless, get this, guys, unless they're going to put N64 games and maybe get some GameCube games onto the, onto the Nintendo... Uh, live. So do you think this may just be some kind of test to see if right. everything runs properly? Yeah, that, and I think that, you know, if they, they're, they're not going to keep that game out if, uh, like, say, maybe they released the N64 on the on the Nintendo uh, Live Network, and then they, and then, so then you'd have Mario 64 on that, but then nobody's going to want to pick up, you know, Mario 64 on the remasters if you can just get it for free on the you know online so i i think i think that could be happening man i think we might get some n64 games on there or some gamecube games or some wii games why not all the games yeah that'd be awesome well they said that yeah. and they said that you know the switch they said the switch is they're going to make a new switch next year um like yeah. an enhanced version but uh, apparently they, they still haven't they haven't said yet they haven't it's said it's not official rumor. But the rumors are that they are going to also enhance, like, the current versions of the Switch that are out there. They're going to do, like, at some point drop an update that's going to, like, I don't know how, but they're going to, like, make them run better. So that does make me think that they're going to be getting some, like, different, like, games on there to make, because they're going to have to enhance it to make it work. Which That'd makes me think, cool. like, next year they're probably going to start dropping some 64 or GameCube or some yeah. some sort of games next year. Yeah. Um, also, hey, there. You forgot, the, you forgot the most important part of Mario 35th anniversary, Ryan. The Game and Watch. That's what I was just about to oh, talk about. They're was... re-releasing some Game and Watches. I was just about to talk about that. It's a oh, mini sorry. gaming device. Uh, it will play the original Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers: The Lost Levels, and Ball. Yeah. And what? Ball. 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 Yeah. Yeah, it's basically oh. Mario's face with his juggling hands and you have to catch the ball. It was on the original Game & Watch. Um, but these Game & Watches, man, they were the, they were before the Game Boy. They were the first handheld video game system. So a little homage to that. They're, they're like $50 a piece. 
um, mm. when they come out. But I don't know. I might get one for the game room just for something. Tell you what, they're going to have um, historical items for sale on store.nintendo.com during the month of November. So there's some stuff for the gaming yeah. room. Um, they're also going to have an online Super Smash Brothers Ultimate using Super Mario series fighters, sages, and items later this year. Um, they're I'm also going to be from September 8th to until September 22nd. Mario Kart Tour will have a Super Mario Kart Tour event with special appearances by Mario and Donkey Kong Jr. from the original Super Mario Kart game. Um, have you guys played the mobile, what did you just say, Mario Kart Tour? Oh, the, 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 the mobile version? Guys... I, I had yeah, it for, I played right. it, yeah, I played it for a little bit, but I don't know. It, eh, it was all right. It didn't run very well sometimes, though, so... Um, if you have Animal Crossing, if you have Animal Crossing, uh, there's going to be Super Mario themed furniture coming to the game in March of next year. Ooh, make sure to tell Luna. There's going to be a Mario, a Monopoly Super Mario celebration game. There you go, no. Sean. There you go, Sean. No. Uh, no. New action, <laughs> new action figures coming out. Lego's going to have a Nintendo Entertainment uh, Lego set. So. If you're a Mario fan, we're going to have some Mario crap out the wazoo coming. And all this stuff, by the way, uh, the All-Stars game launches September 18th. Yeah, not that far away, man. Yeah, that's like next week. Um, Mario Kart Live Home Circuit launches on October 16th. Uh, The Game & Watch is November 13th. Hey, birthday present idea. Uh, (laughs) The 3D World, Super Mario 3D World yeah. launches on February 12th, and Mario 35 launches on October 1st. Of right. 21. Well, let's, uh, so. let's stick with Nintendo here, and uh, they just dropped a new game yesterday uh, out of nowhere that's going to come out in November, and it's uh, Legend of Zelda uh, Hyrule, Hyrule Warriors. Warriors. Age of yeah, Calamity. Age of Calamity. Age of Calamity. Yeah, it's the second Hyrule Warriors game. But it's a prequel. But it's not. It's like the eighty seventh uh, Warriors game. Yeah, it's, yeah. It takes takes. Yeah, it takes place um, before Breath of the Wild. A uh, hundred years before, to be exact. Yeah. So. I played the first one on the Wii U, and it's really cool, and um, it says not much story to it, more action-based. This one might have a little more story because Nintendo's working with them a little closer, uh, I don't uh, know. but it looks, looks pretty cool, though. It, it, look, it says hordes of enemies, which makes me think it's just like running through and killing a bunch of things, so. Yeah, haven't you ever played that's Dynasty the Warriors? Yeah, that's yeah, what I was saying. Yeah, that's what this is. Yep. Dynasty Warriors was Zelda. Nope. Zelda well, edition. that's exactly what it is, but with Zelda people. Yep. So that's, like I said, it's like the 87th Warriors series. But of course, Nintendo being can, and, 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 no, wow, yeah. Nintendo being Nintendo, it is 60 bucks. So, oh, you of get course, get it's it? a brand new game, right? You gonna get it, Nathan? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'm gonna get it. You gonna get it, Ryan? Uh, uh yeah. Probably not. Uh, I'm not the biggest Zelda fan, so, um. <laughs> Maybe when they, maybe if they ever drop it to like twenty bucks, which will never happen because Nintendo never drops their games, I might pick it up. But you know, Nintendo will keep it at sixty bucks for about four years. Uh, Let's get into some Xbox news. I'm ready for some. All right, so I'm ready for some next gen people. Come on. So last yesterday, actually, the news dropped that the Xbox Series S will be. $300. $299. Um, $299. Yeah, they, actually, they actually, uh, they actually shown, shown the actual, uh, the, the it device. looks like a, it looks like a goddamn speaker. It looks like a giant speaker, yep. Um, uh, it looks like a giant speaker. Not, not giant, Ryan. This is the smallest Xbox ever made. Well, I mean, yeah, not a giant speaker, but it looks like a, it's a speaker. Um, the only thing is, in my opinion, the Series S is not worth it. Um, as it won't be any more powerful 
than the current generation of the Xbox One? Uh, whatever they're calling it. No, Xbox no, 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 no. The Xbox One X. Well, that's what I meant. Current generation, the newest one, the whatever. No, the, yeah. Xbox. Yeah, well, the, yeah. There's other versions of it out there, Ryan. Nathan, it's going to be barely, it's going to be barely better than the Xbox I have. <laughs> and it's all digital, <laughs> so it's not, to me, that's not worth it. But to some people that may be, though, because that takes the, I guess if you want to call it the inconvenience of having to get up and put in games because you're a <laughs> well, yeah, I, I, The I only mean, problem with it is you're going to have to immediately buy uh, an external hard drive to go with it because the, the SSD in it is only 512 gigabytes. So that's about one game. So, it's about one game. That yeah, to hold up. It'll hold about four, maybe. Uh, not Did you say megabytes dead. or gigabytes? Nothing. Right. Um, but if you put, if now, you put, the question is, since, since, since Microsoft released this, do you think PlayStation's going to reveal their price and uh, date that it's going to come out this week? Um... Yeah, I mean, they're going to have to release it before too long. I mean, they're going to start taking pre-orders. So, like I, like we've been yeah. saying all along, one of them was going to jump at first, and they finally did. Uh, Xbox released it. And it's officially revealed that the Xbox Series X will be $499, um, and they will be released. We have a release date. It is on November 10th. So, finally, hey. we have a release date. Hey, guys, another, uh, another uh, birthday idea. Just throwing that out there. <laughs> um, but the good thing is, the good thing is, Xbox has this Xbox All Access program, which is basically like buying a cell phone. Yeah. It is a subscription service. It gets you a console and an Xbox Game Pass Ultimate membership. The Series X will be thirty-five dollars a month, and the Series S will be twenty-five dollars oh. a month. And so. It will also, for the holiday season, it will include EA Play for free as well. So if no for, people who, the, for people who <laughs> want to get this that don't really have $500 laying around, that is at a, you're going to probably end up paying more in the long run for this, doing it that way. Well, that's how you do it with, like, the cell phone I bought. Like, I'm paying more for it over time. But – if you don't have a lot of expendable income right now, but you want one, it is worth doing the plan version, and you still get the new Xbox, and you're only paying $35 a month, which technically isn't terrible. What's the Game Pass? Like 10 bucks? No. It's a, it's a two-year plan, so you'll have it paid off in two years. Yeah, so you look at it, $35 a month for 24 months, that's math. <laughs> Two, what did you say? Twenty four dollars times thirty five times twenty four, which would be eight hundred and forty dollars. Uh, yeah, but, kind of pricey. But I mean, if you want to get an Xbox, it's a, it's you know you're only paying thirty five dollars. It's kind of an easy way of doing it. Yeah, but the thing is, though, man, I'm telling you, so with the limited release that they're doing with these, though, it'll be a year and a half before you can probably even freaking do that. But in the pre-order, man. Pre-order starts yeah, September twenty second. So Ryan, September oh, twenty again? September twenty second. Oh shit! I gotta put that in my calendar. I gotta. I gotta <laughs> bring my phone. I gotta get ready for that. I gotta. I'll, I'll fucking go take a bathroom break at work so I can. Pre I mean, again. I'm almost wor wonder. I'm almost thinking about doing it. Uh, I just. I'm not one to buy new stuff when it first comes out. Uh, I always wait a little bit, and with this, I don't know if it's... I feel like there's probably going to be bugs. There's always bugs when it comes to new consoles. Yeah, man, the next gen red ring of death. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, um, guess what, though, guys? You can pre-order a PlayStation right now. There's one that you can pre-order. It's 24 karat gold. Special yes. edition. I saw that. Four thousand dollars. I saw that. No. No. <laughs> no. I'm not. I don't know. 
A collector's yeah. item, sure. But I mean, if you're just a million, if you just, you know, have money to spend and you have nothing to, you know, might as well, right? I guess. So, Ryan, which console do you think you'll get, Xbox or PlayStation? I mean, considering I currently have the 360 and the One, I'm probably going to stick with, X, with uh, Xbox only because I have a gamer tag and all my stuff will carry over. If I that, that would be the first one I get. If I get, I would it maybe end up with both. But if I get only one, it's going to be the Xbox, just because everything will carry over. The games I buy on the Xbox One will carry over to the new console. Most of them will, and so until it deletes it all. And so Put I don't have bugs. to. I mean, I don't have to worry about rebuying games. You know, that's even so, all your save files move over too. Yeah, so everything will move over. My gamers, my my very important gamer score will move over. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know what, what your gamer score, score of two thousand. I don't know. I don't know what my gamer score is. Honestly, you don't even know. You don't even I don't, know. I don't pay attention to that shit. <laughs> but it's important. It's important. So that's what which you, one would you pick up all important gamer score. Okay, Sean, what would you? Which one would you? If you had, if you could only pick one, which one would you get? PS Five or Xbox? Nintendo. Nintendo. <laughs> um. Um. Well, I'd probably get the Xbox because that's what I've had. And you could play with me. I don't want to play with you. <laughs> what? And I don't want to look at your crappy gamer score. <laughs> Nathan, what about you? What would you get? No, I'm picking up both. Both? <laughs> at the same time? Launch date. Launch to... date. He's will... getting both. He's going to drop $1,000. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm going to try to, but chances are, like I said, with the limited release of both of them, I, I'm probably going to have to wait until 2021 to get either one of them. So. So I'm going to try. I'm going to have my finger on the button. I'm going to be ready to freaking order. So, so do you think PlayStation's going to go lower, or do you think they're just going to do the same price? With the, with, with the amount, with the, with the stuff that they got in the PlayStation 5, and uh, they're doing it a little different than Xbox, and I just think with all that stuff, I, I don't think they can. I think they got to go at least the same or maybe even higher. I don't know. Cool, cool. Yeah, I think they kind of. What are you to... thinking? Uh, I, well, for the yeah, yeah, it's gonna be either five ninety nine or four ninety nine, and then the the one that's all digital without the disc drive on PlayStation. I think rumors are that it's only gonna be a hundred dollars cheaper than the regular one, unlike unlike the Xbox. But the reason is is because the PlayStation all digital version is the same power as the regular. It's not a lower power system. So I think they're either gonna try to match it or go a little bit higher. Maybe a hundred dollars more, maybe fifty dollars more. I mean, hasn't PlayStation normally been more expensive than Xbox over the years? Significantly, yeah. The PS3 was like two hundred dollars more expensive than the Xbox 360. Um, and Nathan said they so realistically, <laughs> so like in the past, PlayStation has always been a little. They've run a little bit higher, but maybe they've learned their lesson now, and they, you know, won't do that. Um, yeah. But we'll see. What's this? Law, what's this lawsuit business? So, uh, yeah, for, what type of fart? Yeah, Fortnite. So, let me get to the page here. So, uh, basically. Fortnite was suing Apple and Android because they like basically kicked them off. Like they dropped their app from the from the stores, and so Fortnite right. was saying, you know, blah blah blah. You know, they 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 didn't give us a reason. They kind of, you know, but Apple today is counter suing Fortnite. Um, so I hear you. Apple raised the stakes Tuesday in its lawsuit with Epic Games. The iPhone maker requested monetary damages if it successfully convinces a judge that it was within its rights to kick Fortnite off its more than 1.5 billion active iPhones and iPhones last month when Epic activated code new it new broke Apple's App Store rules. So basically they did something that it was against the rules 
Apple says it was against their app rules, and so they kicked them off. And so Fortnite is claiming that they kicked them off, and it wasn't legally – there wasn't within their rights to do so, and Apple's countersuing saying it isn't our rights, and now you have to pay us. So <laughs> well, I mean, what's Android doing, though? Are they doing anything? Uh, I don't know. I haven't seen anything. Because, I mean, because if – Fortnite has to pay Apple, but Android doesn't do anything. They could just use the money from Android to pay Apple. So here's what it is. Here's what the original lawsuit, why they got kicked off. So Fortnite, they got kicked off of the App Store and Google Play Store after attempting to bypass the 30% fee Apple and Google charge developers. So basically Apple and Apple and Google get 30% of anything that they make. So they make a dollar, they get 30 cents. And Fortnite attempted to say, no, we're not doing that. So they kicked them off. And so now Fortnite is suing. And I haven't heard well, that Google... Well, see, then, then, then they did have a reason to kick them off then. Yep. The Fortnite is claiming but that they, they never... Had... Fortnite's claiming that they never signed anything agreeing to that and that they never were received. They never received that. And so Epic's probably going to get screwed here. Um, I have it. Google, as far as I know, has not countersued yet. I think they're just going to be like, you know, we're just going to win, win in court. So they got loads of money. They don't give a shit. <laughs> we're just going to win anyway. So, uh, what? Oh, never mind. It said this meeting no longer has a time limit. I was like, uh, yeah, they shouldn't. I paid for. Thought them. I was dead. Yeah. Nathan's muted now, so. Nathan, you need to unmute. Uh-oh. Nathan! There you are. Okay. I'm back. Okay. But, yeah, so, I don't know. There's no new news other than Apple's countersuing. Google's not suing yet. We'll see if they do or not. I don't know. It sounds like Epic's stupid, right. and Epic's going to get shot in the foot here. So. Yeah, it sounds like it. So, what else we got? So, I was thinking... This year, we have seen a lot of re-releases or sequels come out to games that were highly anticipated, right? We have the new Crash Bandicoot Bandicoot coming out. We've got Tony... The the what? Bandicoot. Shut up. We've got Tony Hawk's... We got Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2. We had the Spyro the Dragon remaster. We've got the new Mario remaster coming out. So I was curious what your guys' thoughts were on games you would like to see either remastered or a new sequel come out that has not happened yet. All right, who's going first? Whoever. Brian. Okay, I have a couple. I have one big one. Uh, That would be Splinter Cell. I would love a new Splinter Cell game. They haven't made one in years. They haven't made one since the Xbox 360 uh, and PS3. I... And, and I don't even care if it's Sam Fisher. Like we can go in a whole new story, have somebody else take over. But, man, I miss Splinter Cell. They're the best games. I miss them. I would love another Splinter Cell game. Anybody right. else? That's just one. I have more. You just said you had a couple. We, were gonna oh, it's like we, all, we just go around the table and everyone throw out one. I don't oh, know. no. Unless no one's got any more, and then I can keep going. But. <laughs> no, no, no. I want, I want you to do all yours, and then we'll go to the next person. Okay, so another one would be Skater, or Skate, Skater, Skate, uh, Skater, Skater XL came out, Skater XL came out, and it was not what I thought, and I would love another Skate game with a, with a story, Skater XL is a fun game, but there's no story, and Tony Hawk's too arcade over the top for me, I like a more realistic style Skate game, and I feel like they could make a cool, especially with the next generation, they could make a really cool Skate game. Um, I, I would love that. And just for nostalgia, I would love for Zombies Ate My Neighbors to show up on the Switch sometime. <laughs> yeah, that'd be good. That. that would be great. I, I just Hey, maybe it'll show up on the Sega Fog. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> but I, 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 I'm, trying to, I'm trying to think of a couple more, but those are the big ones for me. Skate and uh, right. Splinter Cell. Those are, those are good. Well, yours are all different than mine, so that's good. <laughs> all right nathan then what do you maybe got? never mind all right so for mine i have i have five wow um Whoa. my first one that i want a remake of is 
Let me guess. Rock, Castle... and, roll race, rock, and, roll, rock and roll racing I'd on be... the Super Nintendo. I would love to see that on the Switch too. Yeah. Well, well, not no, no. I want to see, I want to see full on, not just a Switch. I want a remake of it to where it's all 3D and it's behind the car, and we can do all the same special things that we did on that one. It, and we have the rock and roll, new new rock and roll tracks. I mean, that'd be no. badass. No, 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 no. You keep the old rock and roll because this new rock and roll wouldn't work, wouldn't do it for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I, mean, uh, I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear like freaking, you know. Uh, Nickelback messing up my video games, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and for a sequel, I would like to see uh, Pirates Legend of Cl uh, Black Cat um, get a sequel. That was a game that a lot of people have probably never played, but it was on the Xbox and the PlayStation 2. It was a, one of the best pirate games I've ever played, and I'd like to see a sequel to it. And then, uh, and then for some remasters if you will i would like to see some remasters of maybe uh hmm blood rain oh oh blood rain man i have not oh oh that's good that's and then good. maybe uh maybe some remasters of uh man i had like two more what were they oh shit castlevania I thought about I all day no oh you. oh yes i want a sequel i want a sequel i want a new 3D Castlevania game. That would be nice. That would be cool. Because we haven't had one of those in a long time. Nope. What was that one called? I don't remember. <laughs> Help me, Nathan, because it was yours and then I took it. Symphony of the <laughs> Night? No, that's that's the one that was on PlayStation. Well, you're talking about 3D Castlevania games? There's yeah. Lamnin of, of Innocence and there no. was um, um, Curse of Darkness. Maybe it was that one. But yeah, that, um, I'd like to see another one of those. What do you got, Sean? Sean, you got any? Oh no, let me think real quick. I didn't actually put much thought into it because I just keep playing the same old games all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I really want to see a lot of remasters of, like, old Nintendo games, but they kind of already do that. Like, I want to, I want to see a remaster of Mario Kart 64, because that's my favorite one, but that wouldn't really do anybody much good. Yeah. Uh, I, maybe they'll right. give it better graphics if they do this online store thing, you know? Maybe they'll give it better graphics. Okay, it's tough. I don't know. Let's check the box. Check in the box. Check in um. the box. One I would like. I mean, it's the big one here, but everyone would like to see it. A new Grand Theft Auto. I mean, oh, yeah. uh, Grand Theft Auto Five has been rolling it out for freaking twelve years now, and no, uh, I know. I, I would love to see. I know, I, and I assume they're just waiting for the next gen. Like they're gonna wait till that happens. But yeah, and, and one for our wrestling fans. I would love to them to make a like Here Comes the Pain remaster, but with like the current generation. <laughs> Like, make a game exactly like Here Comes a Pain, <laughs> but make it with current yeah. people. Um, That'd be pretty cool. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of remasters. Like, I know, like, the Mafia remaster's coming out, and I'll probably pick it up because I'm a huge – I love that series. Well, what about Hitman, the Ryan? Hitman. They are making another Hitman at some point. But, yeah, they are – Hitman's another one. Um, Here's the thing, guys. The reason remasters are important is because eventually these systems are going to die. Well, yeah. You're not going to be able to they play them anymore. The history. And so getting these remasters on the newer systems keeps these games alive, you know. So that, that, that's why I like them. Yeah, I mean, like, and also they change them because, like, the Resident Evil 3 remaster or 2 or whatever was completely different than the original. That's not a remaster. That's a remake. Well, remake, remaster. I don't. It's not you know, the same thing. They're not the same thing. I get it. Well, the mafia is called mafia remastered, but they're adding stuff to it. So, but well, that's it still an, that's the same, an like, fake game. <laughs> they said they're adding stuff to the story. I don't know. I just that's had that a, thought. That's a, that's a Nintendo Deluxe, is what that is. Yeah. So, I don't know. Let us know uh, when this is on YouTube or whatever. Or, hit me up on Twitter, any remasters you or sequels you want to see? Because I'm sure there's some that we missed, some from big games that, you know, 
have remat re- sequels that no one's talked about. Jack and Daxter. No, it's wow, yeah. Like, there I might mean, be a new one of those coming. I mean, there's always those Dude, like. There hasn't been a Jack and Daxter game in like 15 years. They haven't made a Crash Bandicoot game in 50 years, and they're making another one. Uh, no. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah I think the last that. Back Crash game they made was in like was the Crash of the Titans or Cra- Mind Over Mutant. One of the ones I didn't play. Same thing with Spyro. But the yeah. Jack and Daxter, they hadn't made a game in a while. Oh, they got like three of them. I don't know. Yeah. Exactly three. Uh-huh. Jack and Daxter is a precursor. Jack and Daxter two, and then Jack and Daxter three. Jax is pissed off. <laughs> and I think that's the name of it. Jax what? Is yeah. Jax is pissed off. <laughs> I, I I don't think so. I doubt that's the name of it. Um. <laughs> that would be all. Awesome. Um. But yeah, that's that's about all I've got. Uh. I don't really have. There's yeah, not really here. much else big news wise that's come out here recently. Um, oh, wait. I know what I want. I want a Big Mother Truckers remake. Uh, remake. That's big I'm Mother doing. Truckers. <laughs> that was a fun game. They made like two of those. They were actually pretty fun. I got to admit. What about I was thinking, we don't usually do this, but I was thinking next week for the podcast, our special segment will be. Games that are under the radar that you like that many people may not have heard of. Dude, I got plenty of those. Yeah. All the yeah. indie games. All so, the indie games. So, like, the games that, like, you know, <laughs> games that, like, were, that you enjoy a lot, but maybe no one's heard of. Like, I threw one out there, Zombies Ate My Neighbors. Most people may not have heard that game. I don't well, know how all three of the game cool was. Game. I don't know if that game is well-known or not, but that game is great. And they really need to bring that back. You know what I want to remaster of? Okay. What's that? Flappy Bird. (laughs) 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 Oh, my God. (laughs) Flappy Bird. (laughs) Yeah, there's not really... That's hilarious. There's not really that much other news out other than what we've kind of talked about. A lot of it's just... Call of Duty stuff, and I don't really give a crap about that. Um, yeah, so. you used to. I used to. There's too many. There's too many now, man. I can't keep track of what's what anymore. It's just out of hand. Um, yeah, they had three of them released in one year. I mean, come on. Well, there's two like two different studios making them now, so like, it's stupid. Yeah. The best one was MW2. Modern Warfare 2 was best. But- but all right, that's going to do it for the podcast this week. Yeah. Uh, Ryan, send us out. All right. So, Sean, you've never oh, heard this out. out. You've yeah, never done, you've never been here for the outro. So, thank you for joining us uh, on this journey of a podcast we just did. Um, as always, you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube at Sabri, E-N-T. Uh, the podcast will be posted on in YouTube as well as all of your favorite uh, platforms for getting podcasts. Um, you can follow Sean on Instagram at O'Shaughnessy. No, don't do it. That is O S E A N A T H A N. And uh, he, you can follow his SoundCloud at. What's your SoundCloud? You'll never find it. Ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never find Wild Card because there's 87 million of those. So good yeah. Luck. yeah, there's a lot of them. So, and as so, thank you for joining us. Follow us, all that good stuff. Let us know how you feel. And for Nathan and Sean, as always, score if you can, save if you must, and always suplex when necessary. Au revoir. Oh, no. Sayonara. <laughs> <laughs>